All right, so welcome to my video series here. I'm not sure if you're familiar with my videos, but I think I did about a 24-parter on uh, tearing apart the uh, Vortec, uh, which is similar to an LS1 motor in my 2002 Chevy Tahoe. And uh, looking at footage here of the very moment when I decided that uh, instead of just doing a cam swap, uh, that I didn't like what I saw, and I figured that I had gone that far, and I might as well pull the engine and uh, and go ahead and have it rebuilt. So I uh, took it off to the machine shop, and my original plan was just to have the machinist, you know, clean it, deck it, and hone it, and do all things that uh, uh, that a machinist would normally do. And uh, I really took a liking to the guy and he did such incredible work he was sending me pictures uh, along the way and uh, I saw the quality of work that he was doing and I was just like you know what I'm just gonna have him build the short block uh, why should I mess around with plastic gauge when he's got uh, this you know all the right tools and he obviously knew what he was doing so uh, I just went ahead and I guess you could say I took the easy route but I look at it as I took the safe route this guy's built over a thousand engines in his life. Uh, I've built um, zero. Um, he ended up uh, boring at thirty thousandths over, and as you can see, um, you know what? The guy, the guy just put it back together in a way that I I, I just couldn't do it, and uh, I'm I'm very happy with having him done the work instead of me trying it. Was gonna try to do it myself, but you know decided and you know with the special tools that he had. Uh, there was just no way I was going to put this thing together to the same capability as as he did. And looking back on it, I would not have uh, done it any differently. And he did some light porting of the heads and uh, the whole valve train I was planning on, on doing anyway. I ended up choosing a camshaft that was really made for trucks. You know, it, it was uh, more of an emphasis on low-end torque than high-end horsepower. I mean, it is a Chevy Tahoe. How often is it going to see 6,000 RPMs? So uh, uh, the duration uh, was 208, 212. Um, the lift was uh, uh, 554, 558 with a lobe separation of 115. Um, so a good step above stock, um, but yet nothing too radical. Uh, the entire valve train, uh, I ended up doing comp lifters. Um, a uh, comp 1.72 uh, roller rockers uh, I needed to get some Holly tall valve covers uh, to work well with those uh, Molly pistons and rings uh, scat connecting rods stainless steel valves I've got enough uh, video for probably another 30 videos of, of everything that I've done on the truck and I'm real pleased with the way it uh, turned out and here you can see it as it was getting ready to leave the machine shop and there it is uh, on the floor in my garage getting ready for everything else so uh, hope you enjoyed the video obviously not a how-to um, there are so many good videos by so many people who know so much more uh, that I do uh, about rebuilding an engine that I just didn't feel right trying to make a video on on rebuilding the short block uh, you know, not having the experience with the micro tolerances of the journals, the bearings, and all of the important things that go into building a short block, uh, I just, uh, I just felt much better having uh, a guy who's built over a thousand engines do it for me. So uh, there it is. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, everything else from here on is uh, stuff that I did, and uh, I'll be making probably a, a good considerable series on all the mods that I've done to my truck. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, I hope you get some benefit out of some of these videos. Thanks.